Hello, hello, happy, what day is it? I don't know. That's supposed to really hard question. Wednesday. It's not Cardio Thursday, so it's not Thursday. That's Wait, all I know. Are you sure it's not Cardio Thursday? Because well. I think there's like a mile away from this workout pack. I'm like, yeah, it is. I see how this is working out. Cardio Thursday type of workout. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Happy Wednesday, happy Wednesday. Welcome to our third workout of the week. Can I stop my run now? Because by the time I get back, we might be able to start a run. Yeah, let's start uh, we have we have been doing a lot of dumbbell kettlebell stuff those last two days. Uh, we're going to continue that uh, today with uh, a lot of kettlebell swings. Uh, but uh, yeah, as always, yeah. we're gonna walk you through a warm up, a little bit of mobility. Walking, yes, it's the only time we're gonna walk. We're gonna walk today. It's, it's the warm up, a little bit of mobility, and then our, our running workout for today. Running workout. Uh, so yeah. I'm ready. Let's get after it. Good, good. Hopefully everyone at home is ready, everyone on social media is ready, YouTube, people dropping in. Hopefully you guys are ready. Uh, let's get after it. Uh, so our movements for today, our warm-up. Our warm-up is intended to warm up our calves, okay. our ankles, the flexion uh, in our ankles, that Achilles. Why? Because, Bill, we are your favorite movement. Uh, not Herpes? so favorite movement. <laughs> running. We are running today, so you want to make sure you have good flexion uh, and then Achilles in his calves. So uh, we are working on that, doing a little bit of extra work, and then we are going to smash out the calves as well to make this a nice and loose before you're running. Uh, so yeah, that's the agenda. So first movement, pick any object, put it on the floor, uh, look on the ground. If you see a line, we are doing hop overs. Okay, and we're doing 30 of them. Okay, so Bill has decided to put his kettlebell on the ground. What is easy, if you don't have a kettlebell, which you probably should, but if you don't, uh, or a dumbbell, just pick a line on the ground that you're jumping over, and it's literally just hopping over back and forth. Okay, and I want you to do a total of 30 hops. Three, zero, you may go. Bird. Bird. 
Do you, you want to turn over? over? I'm regretting this part because I showed this yesterday. Turn over, you want to get into that tabletop position, which means that you're going to have a 90 degree angle on those shoulders. You're going to have a 90 degree angle on that hip. So you want to bring that hip back up. Uh, knees in, hip, knees in. Go. All right, there you go. So you create that tabletop, okay? Uh, and then a 90 degree on your knee. You want to make sure that your back is nice and solid. Okay, from this position here, for the bird dog, what you're going to do is you're going to initiate by driving your left arm out, right leg out. Okay, opposites. Good. And you're just going to squeeze and then switch. Total of 30 reps, so 15 per side. Back and forth. If you want to make it harder, more difficult, Bill actually did a couple reps with that yesterday as we were talking. Yep, you get into that plank, okay, and you do that same motion. Okay, it requires a lot more stability, okay, than going from that tabletop position. Okay. Uh, being that you only have two points of contact on the ground, your toe and your hand. So that's why it makes it a lot more difficult. Where here, when you're in that tabletop, you have three points of contact on the ground, your hand, your knee, and your toe, which creates a lot more stability. Good. You start to feel in the lower backs, the hammies, the glute, shoulders, chest. Good. All around warm up nice and slow, very low impact. Okay. Which is a very safe movement. Nice work, nice work. Let me get this to the screen so I can see how we're doing over there. Uh, Rena decided to go with the RX Plus version. Kicked in. Good. How are you feeling, Bill? Good? Good. Yeah. A little bit more challenging than they look. The run was awesome. The run was awesome. <laughs> All right. Uh, two more movements left in our warm up. Uh, we are doing over under arm swings. Okay, it's a very simple movement. All you're doing is starting out in that open wide position, like you're going to accept a hug. And since we're in quarantine, you can only hug yourself. So you're going to do that. But so you <laughs> <Too much. laughs> and then you're just gonna go over and under, okay, uh, 30 times. That's just to warm up your shoulders for this kind of things. Make sure that when you come off the back, you're in an open position where you're going to accept that hug, that you're squeezing the shoulder blades and driving those arms as far back as you can. You do a couple reps with the behind view. There you go. So his arms are actually going beyond his shoulders, okay, by about six inches. Oh. That was a long one. That was a long one. <laughs> by about two feet. That's about two feet, yeah. <laughs> Good work. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And then the final movement, once again, as I mentioned earlier, uh, we want to get those calves, those heels, that Achilles ready for your running today. So we're just doing good old fashioned calf raises. Yep. And it's a heel to toe movement. And then you descend by going toe to heel. Okay. So heel to toe, toe to heel. And you're going to do that 30 times. Low. I've noticed you really like 30s. Yes. For body body weight movements, 30 is the number we're on. I like to go to. It's enough movement, but it's not. I feel like it's not much movement. It's, it's if you like 30s. Knows me. This is not a <laughs> Am 
might be lighter. Still not a runner. I'm excited to see how you feel after the runs today. I mean, you're down 30 pounds. I'm sure that makes a massive difference. It will make a difference. Absolutely. Yes, so. He's going and you to have no one that's going to want to talk to He's you. He's going right? to turn, Bill is going to turn into a runner after today's workout. He's going to feel so good after running that he's going to be like, hey, I can probably do this one off. That is true. I am going to feel good that I did all, full, all, full, all rounds running. That will make me feel yeah. good. All right. Turn me into a runner. <laughs> Can't teach an old dog new tricks, huh? <laughs> All right. Thank we are you. going to smash out our calves. We're going to do a minute per leg. Grab any op any round object that you have, whether it be a dumbbell, kettlebell, a baseball, a softball, a cat of corn, whatever it is. Okay. Um, and if it has like the dumbbells that have little. Uh, edges on them, that's actually even better because you want that to dig into your cap. Uh, we are starting now at the 11 minute mark and we're just going to smash out the cap. Okay. You also want to gently uh, get a little bit into that Achilles. Okay. So that's the, that's the lower part that connects your uh, cap to your foot. Okay. Gently want to get into that and loosen that up. Okay. Um, one of the most painful, I would say, and exposed injuries is that Achilles tear. Okay, especially when you're jumping, running, sprinting. So you always want to make sure that you keep it nice and tender. And Bill will be doing 400 meter sprints today, so yeah, definitely a great flexion in that Achilles. And you'll see the sprints from here. You can see it. <laughs> Mama's always sprinting. Three. Two, one, go ahead and switch legs. Build down the spot so you press the button. That means that you have found the spot. That was awesome. You have already switched legs at home. And we are 30 seconds.
if you're doing regular kettlebell swings, you're doing 30. And then you're going to finish it off with a knee crunch, uh, which is also a oh, knee, sorry, Bill. I think I knee to chest it. crunch. Okay, we've done these, I think we did these last week or two weeks ago. Uh, you're going to start in the lay down position, your chest and your knees are going to come up, they're going to meet at the middle, and then right back down. Okay, that is your knee crunch, you're doing 20 of those. So, recap, four rounds, 400 meter in a row. 30 kettlebell swings. 20 feet crunches. Okay, for time. Uh, the goal is 15 quick, minutes. Quick. The goal is quick. 15 minutes. I haven't said that word yet. Oh. Okay. 15. Okay. 15 minutes. The rush should take you about uh, 90 seconds uh, to start <laughs> off. Sorry. Do you have a Do you have a 400 meter uh, route? Awesome. Okay. And it might be a little bit longer if you don't have a 400 meter. Yeah. If you don't have a 400 meter route, I just want you running 45 seconds in one direction and then 45 seconds back. But if you do have a route that might take a little bit longer, closer to two minutes, uh, but that's okay. All right. Are we good to go? Phil, you good to go? Yep. Karen, Rena? Nice. Beautiful. All right. 20 minute time cap for the workout, but the goal is about 15. All right. Back, 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 go. Next, we're gonna go. I'll give you next row. Five minutes. Twenty-five minutes since Bill was running so much. All right, here we go. Ten-second countdown. What is the first restaurant you want to go to after oh. quarantine is over? Oh, it feels bad. Oh, it feels bad. To be continued. To be continued on its next run. Bill, that was awesome! 137! Hey, <laughs> That's all we wanted to see. <laughs> Every big go home. Alright, Bill is back from the grocery party. Have a house for me. Bill, um, that was so good. 30 reps is. Can, can be a lot, especially after 40 rounds. So if you want to strategize and break down these reps from the get-go, you may, okay? Or you can just go and broke in and see how long you can last. We should, we should um, have people Bill is in the room. their uh, 400 meters. Uh, a lot of people don't have a measure for the phone. Well, they we should do that. Uh, nice work. It should be close to the 20s or in the 20s. Uh, his heart rate is up. Rina is back from her run. She's going to knock out those 30 kettlebell swings uh, or 50 Russian swings if she has a dumbbell. <coughs> Karen has that kettlebell. She's knocking out her 30. Uh, Phil has finished those 30 in round number one. He's now going into V crunches, knocking out 20 reps. Can we get one minute? 30 seconds. Now, the kicker here is that it, this V crunch is going to be difficult because you are contracting those uh, 
your, your stomach, right, your lungs, after you just read and you did kettlebell swing. So your heart rate is very elevated. So doing that crunch is going to be hard to breathe. It's going to make that movement a little bit more difficult. Right, Bill? <laughs> <laughs> but Bill is doing a great job in keeping great form, really kneading his chest and his knees as close as he can to the middle. Is it easier to have your hands up, Bill, or put them on like, the ground? Or hover them over the ground? Closer to the ground? <laughs> <laughs> Bill is done with round number one. <laughs> Two, Rita has finished the kettlebell swing. Okay, so what's going. the restaurant that you want to go to? Oh, I forgot that I need to keep track of the many seconds. Why? Oh, if people are doing shuttle sprints for 90 seconds. Oh. Good job. I think Karen's doing shuttle sprints or she's on her run. Oh, I think she's just running 45 seconds. Oh, 45 seconds. Cool. Go, Arena. Arena, you don't have to bring those hands up to your toes if you don't want to. You can just keep them to your side or hovering to the side if you want. Nope. Okay. Yep, that works. Rena's using her arms for momentum, which is a great idea. Uh, I'll cover that once Bill gets in here. Um, but yeah, kind of like a regular sit-up where you use your arms to bring up your chest and generate momentum. Rena's doing that same concept at home, assisting uh, her upper body and coming up to meet her knees right up the middle. So that's good work. I like that. Uh, and Rena is out for her run. So she's doing that. Uh, the restaurant that I would like to go to is... Happy hour at Born and Raised. Mm, that sounds good. If you guys finish your first round at four minutes, you are now 90 seconds after that, so it's 5.30 right now on the Ooh, clock. Ooh, Steph wants to go to Costera. Costera. Oh, man. Karen is on yeah. the Steph Bill is back from the run. His heart rate is at 163 beats per minute, which is 91% effort for Mr. Bill Brooks. He's chopping up. Thanks for coming, guys. The grip will start to go. And he is going to knock out his 30 seconds. Karen's also on her kettlebell swing. She has a very smooth rhythm going there. A little bend in the knees. Okay, it's not a full squat. She's keeping her chest up and she's squeezing the glutes to move that kettlebell forward. That is great work. Great work. Try, really try to control your breathing through this movement, okay? Breathe effectively and efficiently through this, and try not to hold your breath so long. It is not necessary to hold your breath during a kettlebell swing. It is not a heavy load of movement, okay? You do not need a lot of core stability. You just need momentum from those hips. Good work, Bill. Take a couple of deep breaths before you get into set number two of those kettlebell swings. Karen is on to her crunches. Nice work, Bill. Scan those heels a little bit more at the bottom. Don't let that kettlebell drive you forward too much. Very nice, very nice. And he's done with his dirty swing. Going to 20 feet crunches. As I mentioned uh, a couple minutes ago, on these feet crunches, uh, Rena did something uh, that like she used her arms as momentum, like you would do in a regular sit up, to assist your upper body uh, to me. <laughs> Bill said that was cheating. <laughs> it is not cheating. <laughs> Yeah. I'm sleeping by the way. Nice work, nice work. Everyone at home, you guys are doing amazing. Looks like Karen is out for her run again. <clears throat>
Did I say 15 minutes? Yeah, 15 minutes is a little optimistic. What do you mean? Wait, I did the wrong math. Uh, the math wrong. So I said that the workout should be done in about 15 minutes. I was wrong. I meant to say 20. Because I had written in front of it for three rounds. Mm -hmm. And so three rounds was supposed to be 15 minutes. But then I put four. Mm -hmm. And so Rena was correct when she questioned my time. <laughs> Cool. Tell us something else. Jim <coughs> uh, opening is part of phase three. Is that correct? From what we read on the release. Yes. No. Huh? Jim. Jim's opening. Jim's opening three. was Governor Newsman said Newsman. 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 With an S. Newsom. Um, were phase three, yes. but the, he didn't give a timeline. Like no. he didn't give. Um, no, he just he, he he so governor released uh, a game plan, not necessarily mm -hmm. a timeline, but a game plan on how uh, things are going to phase out. And Jim's uh, from the looks of that. I think this is Jermaine. Hold on, three. he said he could, he finished it in eighteen minutes with a six hundred meter run and a fifty three pound kettle. Who's that? Dang, Jermaine. You flew through that. Good work. That is crazy. 600 meter running every time? Nice work. So you ran over a mile, 30 kettlebell swing to the 45 pound kettlebell, and the crutches. Nice work. Karen is in round number three. She is doing her kettlebell swing in round number three. Still keeping great form, great posture. Nice. That is the ideal way to do a kettlebell swing, Karen. I like Here it. Here comes Phil! Phil Ooh. coming through again for the third time. He's Ooh. feeling great. He's feeling wonderful. He's feeling born again. New Ooh. man coming through. Nice. Cool. That's my, 
miss that rip. You got it, Bill. You got it. Let's go. Last round. Final round on that 4 meter run. Rena, what happened? Oh, that, that top, dang! <laughs> Came back already, only took three seconds to do that 400 meter run. That is crazy! <laughs> Rena's knocking out her kettlebell swings in round number three, getting good into those crunches. And then start round number four. Rena, a leg to do what she has. She has mapped out a 400 meter run by her house. Um, there are hills, which is going to prolong the run a little bit. It's not the same round that we have here. Gym is mostly flat, um, but that is okay. That's probably better, right? Adding some external factors. Yeah, Rena's definitely feeling it. <laughs> it's a good day for a run, though. Yes, it's not too hot today. The sun's not beating down. Overcast. As Karen is into her kettlebell swings on her final round. Ooh, I can see all Arena's muscles in her arms. Oh, those delts. Go to work. We are approaching the 15 minute mark. Five minute time cap. 
um, here. Good work, girl. How do you feel? Good. Yeah. Okay. How about one feel? How about your 30 pounds lighter? Oh, that is not pacing it for me. Yeah. First one was a little bit hot. Yeah, yeah, you did that. And got you, Rita, let's go. Come on, I got you. Come on, Rita, let's go. I'll just sit here and wait until you're done. <laughs> Send out a new post, you get notified. Two minutes, two minutes. Subscribe, like, and subscribe. Yeah, Rita, like and subscribe. 
I don't think she said, okay, Bill. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I think this is like the only running one in the book. <laughs> oh, nice. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you have 90 seconds to finish off. You should be in your V ups, V crunches, V uh, somethings. V somethings. Very hard. Thanks, Christina, for that one. Good work, Gary. Good work on those kettlebells. Good work. Good work. That was very impressed. Bye, Gary. Thank you. Nice work for that. Don't forget 530 as well. Yeah. Zoom replay the same workout to get your running tap ready. Yeah. How'd you? No, no, we're not running tomorrow. How'd you measure your uh, your 400 meters? I just stop everybody. Keep it up. We're almost done. We're about ready to clock out. Oh, okay. 50 seconds. 50 seconds. I'm going to get copyrighted on that clock out. Yeah, quarter of a mile. That's something right. else you do too, thanks. Is it? Time to clock out. Uh, Come on, Mike. Report yeah. me. And then kind of measure it. Yeah. So Rena Re 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 she actually has a watch that measures uh, distance in miles, so she just... Well, I think it's probably not calibrated at all. <laughs> 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 Love you, Rita. Uh, so she did that to measure her 400 meter route. Uh, a couple, I guess, I'm assuming trial and error type of thing. Yeah. Kind of a bunch of different routes. Um, she also recommended that you download an app, which can also kind of measure that for you. Oh, that sounds like a really good idea. Let's mm -hmm. see if you have a smartwatch or something like that. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and done. Bye, everybody. Oh, good work. See you tomorrow. Sweat it out Thursday. Um, Don't get mixed up with sweat it out Wednesday. <laughs> Thank you.